Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we have a little bit of a juicy topic to talk about today um so if you guys have been in the loop with all the uploads you got your post notifications on and you're subscribed to the channel then you would already know that we went to the drag strip um on the 13th friday the 13th and i ain't even gonna lie it's ironic that it was friday the 13th because I'm pretty sure Houston Raceway Park mixed up my car with a different car. Um, and the reason why I say this is if you guys watched that video, then you guys would have saw the car was running 11, 8, 11, 7 consistently all night until I cooled it down with a bag of ice on the intake manifold for almost an hour. Then I made a pass against a pickup truck and the car went 10 8. At least the timesheet said 10 8. So I was actually watching YouTube and I was watching one of my recommended videos. Um, and it was uh, a channel uh, that has like multiple, multiple people running it. And they were out at the track the same night as me. And it just so happened that the truck that I ran um, was a part of this group. Now, with that being said, they also had the run that I thought was a 10-8. They had the run on their video as well. See, the difference was though, my boy Slee, shout out to you, bro. It was his uh, first or second time going to the drag strip, so he had no idea that they have the clocks posted at the finish line and at the end of the tunnels. So he was trying to zoom in to the clock at the finish line as you guys saw and not on the clock that's at the end of the tunnel so with that being said you can't see the time at least in my video but in these guys video you can see the time because they went to the camera that's behind the uh, that's in front of the tunnel behind the start line and in the in their video you can see the car actually went 11-8 not 10 8 so i don't know if like i told y'all man it was a very sloppy track night um so i don't I, I guess one of the staff members just said my number uh and he was talking about a different vehicle or maybe the people in the tower didn't like you know what i'm saying listen or misunderstood or whatever but the car clearly did not go 10 seconds now this is where this becomes an issue for me um honestly if you take a car to the drag strip right you know what i'm saying and you make a pass and the pass ends up being an 11 9 and then you talk to your tuner and tell them you know because the tuner asks you hey how'd the car do and you talk to your tuner and you tell them oh yeah the car went 11 9 and then they say oh, okay well you could probably go, you should be going 11-2, 11-3, um, and maybe even a 10 second car if you do these things. And then you proceed to do said things and the car literally runs a millisecond faster than it was already running. Obviously, there's something wrong with the tune. Now, you guys know me if you've been watching the channel for a while and you're really a part of the J.I. squad. Y'all know I read all the comments and I reply to them as best as I can. 
So I was reading the comments on the track day video and it's it's clear to not just me, you know what I'm saying, but some of you guys too, something is wrong with the tune. Simple as that. There's no way I put my car on a 17 inch drag pack in the rear and gut it and the car goes a millisecond faster. There's, there's no way, it's, it's that simple. And I already had my doubts um, when I saw the dyno numbers, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take it to the track and see what the drag strip numbers are because that's, you know what I'm saying, what I actually care about. I actually care about the drag strip numbers, not, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily the horsepower numbers. So with that being said, boom. <laughs> Went to the drag strip, did what I was told to do, and the car still underperformed. So at this point, this is where I'm at. Um, I'm just get, I'm gonna go ahead and get the car tuned somewhere else. Um, and it's crazy because after I got the car tuned, everybody and their mother was coming out of the woodwork saying, "Oh." Uh, X, Y, and Z about the tuner. You shouldn't have went there because of blah, blah, blah. But when I was telling you guys, oh, I'm going to get the car tuned, none of y'all, no, nobody said anything about, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, none of these stories were brought until after I got the car tuned. So it's like, it's too late for y'all to be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Tell me this stuff when... The car is already tuned like it's I, I don't I don't understand you know what I'm saying it is what it is at this point it's not like I can just say oh okay take the tune off no bro it doesn't work like that I've already paid my money so with that being said like you know I'm stuck with this tune and it sucks um, because this is something that you know I've been through twice now um, I went through this with a tuner when I got my car, when I got Mamba tuned, my 2015 Camaro 2SS, the same, basically the same setup, despite the intake manifold. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Took it to a, what I was told was a reputable tuner, and then literally the day that I dropped the tune, the video getting tuned, all of these people came out of the woodwork saying X, Y, and Z about said tuner. So. I just want to, you know what I'm saying, keep you guys in the loop like I've always been doing throughout this whole YouTube thing, uh, you know, just keeping you guys up to date with the good and the bad, bro. I'm not going to sit here and just post highlights. I'm not going to sit here and just post the good stuff, you know what I'm saying, because at the end of the day, I want you guys to know what to expect when, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're dabbling in this in this automotive field you know what i'm saying and try to build like a race car or trying to do you know big modifications to your vehicle man especially if it's your daily you know these are things that you need to know because again it wasn't beneficial to me knowing that you know what i'm saying oh the dude has messed up other people's cars after my car was tuned you know what i'm saying like it, it that does mean nothing it does me no good at all uh, so I feel like I should, you know, make this video and just let you guys know what's going on. Um, and then if you guys have really been in tune with all of the videos and you guys would have seen yesterday's video, same night, um, I ended up getting some rolls in with my boy Sleaze in his stock SS. Literally that car only has a muffler delete and it was keeping up with me. Mind you, 17 inch drag radials in the rear and gutted on E85, headers, intake manifold, in intake, like, it, <laughs> there's no, there's no reason that my boys should have been keeping up with me, I'm just gonna keep it a buck, honestly, it should have been a dog walk, I'm just gonna keep it a bean, bro, like, the car should have at least won by a car and a half or two, yeah, my car was pulling at the top end, whatever, but, at the end of the day, the facts are the facts, bro. There's no, there's no way that a stock 
10 speed is going to keep up with a modified 10 speed and a highly modified one at that. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I am right now with the tune. That's where I am with the car. Um, it's going to be a while before I go back to Houston Raceway Park. I'm still going to be trying to get some road races in for you guys as well. But I'm, I'm currently focused on getting a aftermarket throttle body and getting the car retuned by you know what I'm saying somebody else um, so as of right now I'm gonna be putting a pause on like the drag strip videos um, I'll still get like some Mexico runs for you guys when I can um, but I just won't be pushing a car like that just because you know a bad tune can definitely be detrimental to the life of your motor you know what I mean? Um, the car, I'm taking the car up to the tuner um, this Friday, actually, to get the car re dynoed because, as you guys know, if you watch the video, um, we weren't able to get the torque numbers because his sensor was broken. So he went ahead and replaced it, and he called me up and said that I could bring the car in on Friday to uh, do a re dyno session and see what the car puts down. Um, but yeah man at the end of the day i am still gonna go back because i am interested in the torque numbers and i'm also interested in seeing you know what i'm saying what the car does with an actual full tank of e85 um and not like a blend because yeah you know we ran all the 93 out but there's still 93 in the lines so it's still a blend technically so with that being said um we're going back on friday putting the car back on the dyno on friday We'll see what you know the car puts down, but um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's the tune. It can't be me. My reaction times. Everybody says the reaction time doesn't matter. Okay, that's cool. But my reaction times are literally consistently an average of at least a point two, point three max. So. You know what I'm saying? Like the car is still trapping the same amount of mile per hour it was trapping stock, <laughs> and it's full bolt on. Well, not full bolt on, but it's bolt on to an E85 and gutted. And when I was running it stock, I was running it with my girl in the car. When it went 11.9 again, I was running with my girl in the car. So it's like it's just a whole bunch of you know little things that have kind of like you know started to build up and and play a role to you know answer my question of do i have a bad tune or not and well last week's track session definitely you know confirmed or answered my question and uh it is what it is i can't you know what i'm saying i'm not finna sit here and and, and and cry about it or none of that you know mope about it or dwell on it you feel me it is what it is. We're going to get the car retuned. I'm looking at actually purchasing HP tuners. So who oh, I do get the car tuned by, whenever I get the car retuned, I can definitely, you know what I'm saying, look at the logs and, and, and stuff like that and just be more involved with the tuning process of my vehicle because, you know, anybody can sit there and, and, and touch keys on a keyboard and then, you know what I mean? Say, oh yeah, you're done. I, I, I tuned your car. Anybody can do that. Anybody can say that, especially if they have a big name that's reputable. You know, they can sit there and just copy and paste the tune from a different vehicle that's not even the same year as yours. Put it on your car and say, hey, you're done. Now uh, go ahead and give me your money. <laughs> and we've seen that happen multiple times on this channel. So with that being said, y'all, um, I will be getting the car retuned. Um, I am a little frustrated about it, but it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always tell y'all, you got to charge that stuff to the game and just keep it pushing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't allow the negatives to dictate um, the rest of your day. You can't allow the negatives to dictate your, your, your future. You know what I'm saying? How you proceed um, with an issue, how you... You know what I'm saying? Proceed after being knocked down or dealing with a setback is what makes you, not the setback that you're in. You feel me? The situation you're in does not make you. It's how you react to that situation. Everybody is dealt a hand of cards to play this game. You feel me? You can't change the cards that you're dealt. 
you can only change the way you play the game. So, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button for the kid. And drop your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. As you guys can obviously tell, I read the comments and I reply. Um, give this video a big thumbs up, man. Turn on those post notifications. And uh, let's go ahead and roll that outro, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I decided to go white and purple on the J.I. Galaxy. I ain't gonna lie, I think it looks good. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you think.